Rest for our souls is a topic in Matthew 11 and Hebrews 3 and 4. The Sabbath day and the promised land are pictures of eternal rest. There remains therefore a rest, literally a Sabbath rest, for the people of God. Though we find rest for our souls now, there still remains an eternal rest. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. We are invited to rest from the burden of sin, our anxieties, the distress of unsatisfied desires, from deep sorrows after a death, and to make every diligence to enter eternal rest.